I created this modern barbecue recipe using an ancient cooking method. A big thanks to Brabura by Hearthstone Outdoor for sponsoring this episode. These are ribs, typical barbecue food. But let's forget about barbecue. Let's focus on tasty. One of the tastiest recipes that has been around for a long, long time are adobo chicken from the Philippines. But I'm not making chicken. I'm making pork ribs, adobo style, Filipino. I'm gonna take my forged butcher's knife out of the Katai series. I'm going to take these ribs and do something very unbarbecue like I'm going to cut these ribs up into single ribs because these ribs are going to be snacks. Very, very tasty snacks. Some of you may already know where we're going with this. Some of you maybe don't. If you know adobo chicken from the Philippines, then you are in luck because we're making such a recipe, but a modern day version of it. If you don't know that recipe and you think adobo comes from Mexico, it's actually not the case. The Spanish brought the adobo worldwide and it's more of a word, a term that means something. It means sauce in Spanish. And therefore we're not focused on where it comes from. We are focused on what you can do with it. And Filipino style marinade. And the crazy thing about the recipe that we're going to make is that we're going to use an ancient cooking method that the Philippines have used for a long, long time, long before the word adobo came about. I got my ribs all singled up, ready to be cooked. So now it's time to take out a pan. All the ribs are gonna go into the pan like that. And now we're gonna make the adobo. It starts with a cube of dried chicken stock, followed by a whole head of fresh garlic. Peel a whole yellow onion, dice it fine, add it to the pan, six bay leaves, a tablespoon of ground black pepper, half a cup of soy sauce, and then the adobo is almost done. We got loads and loads of flavor and loads of ingredients, but this is where the adobo from the Philippines becomes very interesting because we're gonna add some vinegar. Now I went to the Philippines store in the Netherlands and got me some silver swan cane vinegar and that's gonna give me a more Philippine style flavor. I'm gonna add half a cup of it and this vinegar is super unique to the flavor profile of this dish. And the last ingredient, that's right, Sprite. <laughs> this is going to bring the sweetness that we're looking for in this dish. Sour and sweet, this is the sweet. And four cans of Sprite is one liter in total. Now mix it up and then the adobo is ready to go. So it's time to take out the Brabura flat top griddle. Whoop. And the Barbura flat top grill is actually perfect for the recipe because the first part is cooking in a pan and that is super easy because all you need to do is turn the knob. Once it's on, the pan goes on. And together with the flat top griddle, we're going to let the pan come up to temperature and it's slowly going to start to simmer and we're going to leave it to simmer for at least two and a half hours. Wow, ta-da! Woo! Pinoy pork ribs, oh yeah. Let's check to see if they're done. They look pretty done to me. Juicy ribs, fall of the bone tender. You can see the bones are popping out and even we have even some ribs here where we have shiners. This is absolutely done. And keep in mind, it's tender because the vinegar inside this adobo broke down all of the structure together with two and a half hours of cooking. And then you have the result. But if you think this is done, then you're mistaken. Oh, sorry, not, not yet. It looks okay. It looks tasty. You can eat it, it's not as good as it can be. And if you say Filipino style barbecue sauce, you're going to the eccentric zone of condiments. For instance, I have this. This is Filipino ketchup, which is banana sauce. Banana sauce. You never heard of ketchup banana sauce? It looks like ketchup. It is what is on the table in the Philippines when they eat. Looks like ketchup. Almost tastes like ketchup. It's just not the same thing. It is true Filipino ketchup. So we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna start with a cup of Filipino ketchup, the banana sauce. To that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then things get really crazy with coconut vinegar. <laughs> yeah, good luck replicating this recipe. About a quarter cup will be more than enough. Then I'm gonna sweeten things with a mango jam. Filipino which means it's going to be sweet. About 200 grams, and then all you need to do is add some chili flakes for some heat. Then you got sweet, sour, and heat. I'm going to let this come up to a simmer, and once we get that syrupy bubble, we know the sauce is done. All right, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. 
Ooh. <laughs> oh, this stuff is freaking amazing. Sweet, sour, spicy. Ooh. I'm going to make some garlic fried rice. Now it's time to get the ribs on. <laughs> we got the whole pan full and this stuff is freaking amazing. Cool down a little bit already. Oh look, I can just pull that meat off the bone. That's how tender this is. Now I'm gonna do a taste test just to let you know what this in-between stage tastes like. It literally falls apart in my mouth. It is sweet, but at the same time, you get like um, a hearty, savory experience from it. The combination of the sour of the vinegar and the sweetness of the Sprite and then the hearty flavors of the bay leaves, the peppercorns. It's just an amazing combination. And now I want to get some Maillard effect on these ribs. Remember, they haven't been smoked or anything. And as a guy that likes smoky weed, that's smoky weed. <laughs> I really want to get some extra flavors. You know, I love it when it comes from the pan, but if we can just get a little crust on it, it would be even more amazing. I'm just going to get rid of those little leaves and garlic cloves. There we go. And now the barbecue sauce goes on. Oh, look at that. Half of it turned to pulled pork, half of the ribs are still connected to the this looks so freaking delicious and now it's done time to take it off i'm gonna add it to the sinanga rice there we go the bones are falling off the meat could have done with a little less longer cook but i still wanted the same effect of those adobo style ribs cooked in a pan and look at that well tell me that doesn't look like something freaking amazing. Look at this crust. Now that is from the extra fry that we did. All well worth it. And then we have that beautiful color from that brown darkish adobo color all the way up to the red color from that barbecue sauce that we made. And we got the rice next to it, the fried rice with garlic, which is called sinanga. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of spring onion, a little bit of fried onions, and I saved the au jus from the adobo sauce. This is the liquid we cooked in. And what better way to use this than to use it as a gravy. There we go. Over that rice, that's gonna be our sauce. Let's dive into this. Oh, a little bit of that peanut pork adobo style. Let's give it a try. Mm. Whoa. Remember how I told you the pork was fantastic? <laughs> now it's really fantastic. We got the double layer system here going on. We got first the flavors from the ribs and they were boiled until they were done, but they boiled with flavor and all of that flavor is still there. But then we put the sauce on top of it that we made ourselves. And now it is double layered in flavor with lots of flavors in between. Oh boy, this is so good. Wow, so fantastic, so tasty. And it's all full of the bone tender. Mmm, oh, I think the cat wants some. Of course, if you're eating in the Philippines, you want to have this with a little bit of garlic fried rice. There we go. The perfect bite. <laughs> mm, that's it. We're moving to the Philippines.